Cut it in. <laughs> okay. Who does this kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah.
Well, someone's been busy erecting mysterious metal spikes and provoking intrigue around the world. What started in Utah has now been repeated in multiple places, including England and the Netherlands. And there's, there are some wild theories about who put them there and why. Redmond Shannon on the mystery of the monoliths. Another day, another monolith. This time on the small Isle of Wight in England. It was crazy. I was like, oh my God, we've got one here. <laughs> why here? <laughs> it's so out of the way compared to like America. Peter Hudd was one of the first to come see it early Sunday. Even with my own eyes, it looked like it had been edited in. It was so like surreal looking. It was like a, it was like a tear in fabric and time. It was just like this portal. Like I said, it's at the bottom of a very stiff cliff, like a very steep drop. Um, and the only way up and down, um, you know, without having to climb, is these is wooden staircase, and it's steep as well. It's it's and it's on a hell of an incline. It was the same day a similar object appeared in the Netherlands. They're reminiscent of alien-installed monoliths from Arthur C. Clarke's Space Odyssey series, and come after three others were discovered in recent weeks. So is it solid? Not solid. The first had been sitting in a remote Utah desert for about five years. The safe word is run. Just over a week later, it was mysteriously removed on the same day that this one appeared in Romania. Followed by another in California. Christ is king! Christ is king! That was also torn down. Lord. Only to be quickly reinstalled. There are conflicting claims as to who's behind them and what they all mean. This amateurish version, a cheeky hoax from a candy store owner. So how about this? I wake up Thursday morning and there's a monolith that appears right in front of my shop here in the Strip District. Jumping on board what is most likely a copycat trend and a welcome distraction from all things 2020. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.
Lifetime waiting, getting busy with the numbers Suddenly the blue sky's gone Where's the blue sky, baby? Where's the blue sky, blue sky, blue sky? Lifetime waiting, getting busy with the numbers Suddenly the sun's gone, baby Where's the blue sky? Where's the blue sky? So is it solid? Not solid. As mysteriously as it arrived, a metal monolith hidden deep in the Utah desert has disappeared. The tall, shiny metal structure was discovered on the 18th of November by wildlife biologists in a helicopter, counting sheep from the air. 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 From the air. Over the weekend, after the monolith's discovery became front page news, adventurers flocked to the desert to see for themselves the 12 foot tall metal column that looks straight out of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Counting sheep from the air. 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 Over the weekend, after the monolith's discovery became front page news, adventurers flocked to the desert. Over the weekend, the monolith discovery became front page news. Adventurers flocked to the desert. Tonight we'll run away, speeding fast. 
faster than a midnight train Somewhere there's such a place Where the stars come out to light your face And we'll leave behind the world in darkness Go where no one's broken hearted Take off without a trace Neon angels are up and away Diamond clouds I think we're dead
As mysteriously as it arrived, a metal monolith hidden deep in a Utah desert has disappeared. The tall, shiny metal structure was discovered on the 18th of November by wildlife biologists in a helicopter, counting sheep from the air. Counting sheep from the air. Over the weekend, after the monolith's discovery became front page news, adventurers flocked to the desert to see for themselves the 12 foot tall metal column that looks straight out of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Over the weekend, after the monolith's discovery became front page news, adventurers flocked to the desert to see. As mysteriously as it arrived, a metal monolith hidden deep in a Utah desert has disappeared. The tall, shiny metal structure was discovered on the 18th of November by wildlife biologists in a helicopter, counting sheep from the air. Counting sheep from the air. Over the weekend, after the monolith's discovery became front page news, adventurers flocked to the desert to see.